Hey, what's up? It's Paul Farmer from PaulGFarmer.com. And uh, what I want to do today is I want to talk about something that I think is pretty, uh, pretty interesting. And I actually heard this from um, Ray Higdon. He actually did a training on this. So I'm just going to go over what I learned and share it with you because that's what I do. I like to provide value. And uh, I think this is pretty valuable. It definitely will uh, kind of change the way you think about things a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about rejection and negative talk, okay? Rejection is greater than negative talk. So what I mean by that is, so before I even get to that, one of the things people do, and you know, I'm, I'm guilty of doing this, I'm really working on it, I'm really aware of my words, aware of my thoughts, and, and what that does in my life, and what that attracts to me. Uh, I'm really aware of that, and anytime I start feeling some negative talk coming on, you know, self-talk, right, negative self-talk coming on, I will immediately either put on like a motivational uh, video or audio, or I will do something where I'm taking some kind of action, and then it's really difficult for me to have negative talk because I'm taking action. Okay, so action is key, right? But um, so what I mean by rejection is greater than negative talk. So let's let's look at this. Okay, so one of the things people are very afraid of is being rejected. Okay, rejection is huge. I know when I first started marketing online from working from home, uh, rejection was something that terrified me. Um, I absolutely did not want to reach out to people. I uh, didn't. I wanted nothing to do with talking to people, getting on the phone, um, chatting on Facebook, wherever, um, posting stuff, do anything. I was so concerned about what people thought of me that I just didn't want to do anything. So um, rejection is one of those things that people are terrified of, but through rejection, <laughs> you can actually get a positive result. You can actually impact the world. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So let me see here. So through rejection, okay, so if you go and you start connecting with people, let's say, I'm just going to say on Facebook, for example, because that's the easiest thing for me to do. So if you start connecting with people on Facebook, okay, and you start getting no's, right, and you're getting no's, What's eventually going to happen? Okay, let's say you get, I don't know, let's just throw out a number. Let's do 100 no's. What's eventually going to happen? So, well, eventually it's going to equal what? A yes, right? And what's that going to do? So once you get a yes, now you just brought somebody into your business and now you've got customers, distributors, right and you're you're making money right money is being made now so now something positive making money right so now something positive has come out of rejection okay i'm going to go a step further when you start making more money what's going to happen you're going to be able to impact the world in a positive way And why is that? Well, when you have more money, that means you can do more, right? That means you can give more to charity, give more to your church. Uh, you know, you could provide food for people that don't have food, water. I mean, there's just a major impact, a positive impact on the world. Not only that, because you went through rejection, you took action you started getting yeses, you started getting customers, you started getting distributors, you started making more money. Not only that, now you're inspiring more people to make more money. So we're making the world a better place. We're impacting the world in a positive way because if people are making more money, that means the economy is better too, right? Because now people are spending more as well. So it, it's, it's a rejection is greater than negative talk. So Let's look at negative talk now. What comes from negative talk? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing comes 
from negative self-talk. Nothing, okay? Nothing good comes from it. Nothing comes from you saying, oh, I can't do this, or um, what are they going to think of me, or whatever negative self-talk you got going on, nothing comes from it, and it's actually selfish. You're being selfish, <laughs> and, and this might offend some people, this might hurt, but you're being selfish by not going out and getting rejected, okay? Because if you don't get rejected, if you don't talk to people, if you don't put your offer in front of people and give them the option of, you know, m making the decision to buy, to be a part of what you're doing, if you don't open your mouth, if you don't type, if you don't, if you don't, if you just don't put it out there at all, then you're basically being selfish because nothing can come, nothing comes from negative self-talk. Nothing positive comes from it. Nothing positive, okay? So I just, you know, I, I thought this was a really cool training and a really cool concept because you can't impact anyone if all you're doing is beating yourself up. The only way you're going to impact people is if you get out there, get in front of people, heaven forbid, get rejected. <laughs> it's going to happen. That's just life. The sooner you learn that, the sooner you accept that, the sooner you get to a point where rejection doesn't bother you anymore, you're unstoppable. Nothing's going to get in your way. And that's where you want to get. You want to get to that point where it doesn't bother you. Like, it doesn't bother me hardly at all now. It used to a whole lot, but now I know that what I provide is positive. I know it's going to help others, and I know it's going to impact the world in a positive way, okay? So by taking action, by putting myself out there to get rejected, what's going to happen is more money is going to be created, and I can do more with it. Whereas if I sit there and I'm like, oh, no, you know what? This person's going to say something horrible about me, or they're going to think something bad about me, or I can't do it or I don't know how to do it, or I'm overwhelmed, I'm frustrated. All these things amount to nothing, okay? You're not impacting the world, okay? So that's what I got for today. If you got value, leave a comment, uh, share it, subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, on Facebook, like I said, leave a comment, share it. Anyway, thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time on the next video.